welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. You are in store for another weekly WW meal prep. I am going to show you all of my groceries for the week and I did find some new WW friendly things that I'm pretty darn excited about. And then I'm gonna share not only my meal plan with you, but also what I am doing this week for meal prep. So if you wanna see what I picked up to stay on track on the WW Green Plan, stay tuned. So here's my small grocery haul from Walmart. Over there, I also have a case of water, but here's what I picked up for the week from Walmart. Another can of my no sugar added cherry pie filling. I love this, you guys, it's delicious. You can have a third of a cup or 85 grams, which is a ton for one smart point. I've been loving it on my big boy brownies that I made last week in meal prep. Uh, loving it, so I picked up another can of that. Also, I grabbed some caramel rice cakes. I have a little dessert item that I wanted to make, but unfortunately they were out of the other part of my dessert. And so I'll kind of explain that to you, but I did grab some caramel rice cakes. Two more packages of the Idahoan potatoes. I favorited these, you guys, I love these. They're so delicious and so low points. I would say my favorite is the baby reds. And then I like the roasted garlic second. So I grabbed two packs of that. Another fun dessert that I wanna do is using the sugar-free pudding. Now you can use any flavor of sugar-free pudding, but I would recommend either the chocolate or the chocolate vanilla. And we're also going to be using some Jif whips. And we're gonna make a fun little dessert with these two items. So I picked both of those up. Another brick of fat-free cream cheese. They do not carry this at Fred Meyer. So whenever I grab a Walmart grocery order, I add cream cheese to the list. Same with fat-free cheese. They do not have uh, fat-free cheese at Fred Meyer. I have been buying the great value fat-free cheese, but I've decided I don't like it as much as the Kraft. This is literally twice the price, but I just like the flavor better. So I picked up a bag of that. Also my very favorite chicken apple sausages. I just wanna have these on hand for some dinners, for evenings that I do jazzercise and I just want something super quick. I can literally fry a sausage up, make some potatoes, and I have a super delicious low point dinner. Fat free half and half, and of course for my coffee, a pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef because I am running low. I'm just gonna toss this in the freezer. And then the substitution was this. I had ordered the Reese's. So what I originally planned on is I had ordered the chocolate caramel cakes and the Reese's topping, and I was gonna put that on the chocolate rice cake, but they substituted the caramel cakes because they were out of the chocolate, which is just fine, but they were out of the Reese's. So I ended up getting just the great value topping. It is uh, zero points for, I think it's zero points for two tablespoons. It might be one. Oh, sad day, but I'll keep looking for the Reese's, but this will probably be pretty good. This on a caramel rice cake. So that's everything that I picked up from Walmart. So here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. I have quite the haul here, made sure I stocked up with this snowstorm. So let me show you what is in the haul from Fred Meyer. First, I picked up some non-fat Greek yogurt. The Fa A is actually my very favorite brand, and I picked this up for a recipe. And there's quite a few dessert type of things that you can make with this as well, but I needed this mostly for a recipe, and then I do just like to have it on hand. Also, double dipped in the fat-free ready whip so i picked up two cans because i've been going through more than one can a week and one thing i don't want to run out of is my fat-free ready whip i also picked up some light hershey's syrup just so that i can have this on hand for dessert i have a couple of fun little things in mind and this is really really low point and it's way better than the sugar-free or fat-free i don't even know if they make that anymore but it's terrible so this one is a lot better and still extremely low in points also i picked up some cheddar cheese soup oops for a recipe and a can of the mexican diced tomatoes with lime juice and cilantro also for a recipe and then funny story about these i meant to get the enlightened coffee chip and when i got up to the register i realized i had gotten the yasso and i thought oh these are going to be super high in points four points you guys that's it so i'm going to try them this is the coffee chocolate chip frozen greek yogurt bar i love all things yasso they're just usually six seven points and i so i don't buy them very often but if you've tried this particular flavor let me know because i'm excited so i went ahead and grabbed them bought them even though they weren't what i initially reached for 
Also some bacon bits. This is for an upcoming recipe. These are really low in points. One tablespoon, one point. Can't beat that at all. Fat free half and half. Not only is this for a recipe, but it's also for my coffee. Kombucha is something I like to have on the day that I use my weeklies. I absolutely love it. This Synergy ginger berry is my very favorite. So I picked that up just so that I can have that over the weekend because I'm not leaving with the snow. So I wanted to make sure I stocked up on everything that I would need. This one, again, my very favorite flavor. Orange juice, this is for a recipe and then whatever's left over we will just drink. But orange juice is fairly high in points. But I needed it for a recipe which will probably use about half the bottle so it won't be too bad if I only drink the other half of the bottle. And then I picked up some oats and this is for a recipe and for meal prep. So I'm going to be making something with oats. Wait till you guys see my meal plan and my meal prep for this week. So I picked up a big huge thing of old fashioned oats. Also, I discovered these a while ago and these are so good. These are the Annie's Organic Bunny Grams and Birthday Cake. Oh, these are delicious. One serving, I believe, is five smart points. So they're a little bit high, but you can just lower the number of pieces to lower the points and they really are so delicious. They were on sale, so I grabbed another box. Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. I need this for a recipe and you guys know this is a staple in my house. This is great on pizza. So if you like the two ingredient dough pizza, these turkey sausage crumbles are perfect for that. You can have a half of a cup for two points, I believe, which is crazy. That's a lot of turkey crumbles and they're so good. So I picked those up. Oh, I have gotten some questions. These are actually over where the bacon is. So if you're looking for these in your store, it's going to be where the bacon and the tube sausages are. So highly recommend. Also some fries. Uh, we don't have any and I was thinking fries sounded good the other night. So these ones are really, really good. These lamb Weston grown in Idaho crispy fries. These are super delicious. So I picked those up. Over here, I have some dates, and I went ahead and got these out of the bulk section because you guys know that I preach if you only need a small amount of something, check your bulk section. It's going to save you a ton of money. So here's a reference on these. A package of them, like a bag, kind of like this, of the dates was $3.99. I paid $1.12 for the seven dates that I needed for a recipe. So check your bulk section. Also wraps, and I decided this time to get my Tomorrow's Premium White. These are one smart point, same as the Olay wraps. I really, really like these. These are your traditional white flour tortilla. Super good, and these were on sale, so I decided to pick them up. Eggs, uh, Vital Farms, which is really one of the best eggs that you can purchase, the pasture-raised ones. These were on sale for $4.99, so I went ahead and grabbed them. They were actually less expensive than my favorite Happy Eggs. So. Vital Farms eggs for the week. Ground turkey. So I picked up 99% for a recipe. And then I went ahead and grabbed two of the 93.7s because Fred Meyer had these on special for $1.99 a pack. That is a total steal. Now the 99% was regular price, but the 93.7 is $1.99 Friday and Saturday of this week. So if you have a Fred Meyer, great thing to pick up. So lots of ground turkey. And then I went ahead and grabbed some apple juice. This is also for a recipe and whatever's left over my husband will drink. Some buns. This is for a dinner recipe. These are the lowest point buns that I have, period. I cannot find any lower than these. And these are three smart points a piece. And this is the Kroger or the Fred Meyer brand. Let's see, the rest is produce. So lots of produce this time. I have some halos as this is going to be one of my fruits for the week. These were a great deal. I had to pick up some more onions. These are great. If you are someone who cries when you cut onions, these tearless sweet onions are delicious. And this whole bag was less than $2. And I just throw them in my fridge and that way I have, always have onions on hand. Lots of frozen fruit. So the strawberries are for my breakfast meal prep. It, I was gonna get fresh strawberries, but they looked horrible. So I decided to just go ahead and get frozen. And then I grabbed this three berry blend and this one is just for smoothies. I've been having a lot of protein shakes with my devotion powder. So I thought I'd pick a berry blend up for that. And then I also needed blueberries for a recipe and meal prep. So lots of frozen fruit this week. Bananas for a recipe and the rest is for snacking. I went ahead and grabbed a red onion, a lemon, some potatoes. These are for a recipe this week as well. And some avocados. This is for lunch meal prep. 
two mangoes, which is also for my lunch meal prep. I was hoping to find pre-sliced mangoes. They didn't have them, so I get to slice these myself and they're a bit of a pain, but that's okay. Two mangoes, they were two for $4, so great deal. I was also looking for butter lettuce. My store was literally out of produce. I mean, we're talking slim pickings. So there was zero butter lettuce, so I decided to go ahead and get hearts of romaine. And I went ahead and grabbed two bags because I need six cups for a recipe. And lastly, some baby kale, and this is also for a recipe. I did buy a case of water and some Diet Coke as well, but this is everything that I picked up at Fred Meyer. So let's get into meal plan and meal prep. So let's get into this week's meal plan and what I'm doing for meal prep. This is my meal planner that I use. It's my favorite in the whole world. It is the Carrie L meal planner. It is amazing. It's beautiful. It's large. It has everything that you need, places for you to track, detachable grocery list, you name it. It is the most comprehensive and well-made meal planner on the market. Don't let the less expensive ones fool you because these are incredible. So what's part of your meal planner is you have several tabs here that give you ways to track certain things as far as prep goes so first you have a resources tab and that's where you can track your favorite meal planning blogs recipe sites really just jot down anything that you want to remember as far as recipes go and then there is the inventory tab and that is the where you can track your inventory so what you have in your freezer the date you froze it so that you can kind of keep track of what's been in there a little bit too long also, you have a pantry inventory that gives you the item and the expiration date. So this is great. So you can see what items in your pantry need to be used up or discarded. And also there's a spice inventory with the item and the expiration date as well. So this is a great tool. There's the meal plans tab. That's the one we'll come back to. The gatherings tab. This is the one where you can track any type of event that you have going on, whether it be a holiday or a birthday party or just a gathering in your home. You can plan all of the meals that you're making, what you're doing for kids, and even have a section for supplies. And there is a detachable grocery list as well. So once you determine what you're going to be having at your gathering, you can take your grocery list with you to the store so i love that and then lastly there is a notes tab and that's where you'll just jot down anything you feel like you want to keep track of and also in the back there is this two-sided pocket so this is really nice and it's on both sides where you can slip recipes put your weeklies whatever it is that you really want to keep track of and have in your meal planner so let's get into the meal plans tab so there is a monthly calendar for every single month of the year under the meal plans tab. And this is where you can track what you are going to be having for all three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, just dinner, whatever works for you. I only track dinners here because I meal prep breakfast and lunch, but you can keep track of what you're gonna be having for the month. So this is January. And then you can at a glance, see what's on the menu for the following night. Make sure that you have all of the ingredients on hand and also make sure that whatever meat is in your meal, you have that out of the freezer and ready to use. So it's just a great at a glance reminder. And then every week you also have a weekly menu. And again, you can plan all three meals of the day, whatever works for you. I do just plan my meals again because of meal prep, but this gives you a place where you can track all three days. And then I love the detachable grocery list. I literally use it every single week. So it's always gone from my meal plan, but I love it. It's what I take to the grocery store with me. So let's take a look at what we're having this week. So I plan my week Saturday through Friday. So this is the week of January 11th through January 17th. So Saturday, I will be going out for dinner. So the day you see this video, that is the day that I use my weekly. So generally we go out for dinner. I think we're gonna do Papa Murphy's pizza. And then Sunday, I'm gonna be making the Olive Garden Zuppa Toscano soup and we're going to pair that with some sort of like garlic toast or something like that this sounds delicious you will be seeing this recipe in my what i eat in a day on wednesday monday is always a leftovers night because i go to jazzercise tuesday i'm going to be making chick-fil-a sandwiches with vegetables i'm really excited about this this is a different recipe than i've shown before on my channel so we're going to compare which one we like better wednesday is taco lasagna 
I've heard this is delicious. All of these recipes were part of my January meal plan subscription service that I have on my Facebook group. So head over and join my Facebook group so that you can take part in the monthly meal plan. I literally plan all of your meals for you, give you all the smart points, serving sizes, everything for all three plans. And I have heard from tons of people that this recipe is delicious, so I'm excited. And then Thursday, I'm gonna be making pineapple turkey meatballs. So this is a less fattening version of a recipe that my mother-in-law makes that we love called Waikiki meatballs. So this is a little spin on that. So I'm excited for that. And then Friday, I'm going to be making orange chicken, which another thing I can't wait for. And we're going to pair that with some rice. And on the back of the weekly menu is where I plan my meal prep. So everything's right here per every week for me. So for breakfast, and you'll be seeing all three of these recipes in my meal prep on a Monday, I'm going to be making strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. Uh, yes, please. That sounds amazing. For lunches, we're going to be having a grilled avocado and mango salad. This is another thing that I've heard is delicious. Uh, also part of my meal plan subscription service on my Facebook group. And then for a snack, I'm gonna be making blueberry banana bars. And these also sound absolutely delicious. I'm wanting something sweet, but not overly sweet. So these sound amazing. So again, that is what is on the agenda for meal prep. And you will see that on Monday. So that is my meal plan for the week. And again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. If you're interested in picking up the meal planner, I do have 10% off. I will put it here on the screen and it is linked down in the description box below. You guys, I highly recommend you pick up this meal planner because it really helps you plan your meals, therefore stay on track. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing this quite large haul for the week. I'm very excited about my recipes coming up, my meal prep, oh my goodness, and some of those dinners I cannot wait. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. If you're new to WW, welcome. You are in the best place that you can possibly be to go on a healthy weight loss journey. So welcome. Make sure you take a moment and hit that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you're just notified whenever I upload a new video. You don't want to miss a single one. I'd appreciate a big thumbs up if you love some grocery hauls and leave those comments down below and let me know, was there anything that I picked up this week that's new to you or new to you as far as WW is concerned? Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh.